but if you catch what I'm giving you, I'm going to make sure that you can keep it even if you cannot move. I know that that's somebody's word because sometimes we feel restricted by what we cannot do. And I hear God saying, if you stop focusing on what you can't do, you'll see what I can still do without you moving from where you are. God says, I can still do it with that boss. I can still do it in that family. I can still do it in that city. If you think you need to move to get it done, then you're shrinking my power. God says that I can do it because of who I am, not because of who they are. If you put more weight on them than you do the word that I gave you, then they are your God and not me. But if I gave you a word, I'm going to make sure that that word stays in the earth. That word will not return into me void. When you caught it, you caught a word. tell Paxton I'm awake because now that he knows I'm awake he not gonna stop he not gonna stop but it's Saturday um I just woke up welcome back to another vlog I literally just woke up I'm sorry oh, oh my god sorry I probably have stuff in my eye girl I don't know mm -mm. Mm -mm. okay don't look bad it don't look too bad. <laughs> um, but I did sleep in a little bit. It's 8 o'clock. Oh, look at Paxson's head. He wants to be my skin. I'm convinced. Paxson, can, can What is wrong with you? It's so early for you to be acting nuts. My dog is crazy. Um, but I did sleep in a little bit. Uh, last night, y'all saw there was supposed to be like a little montage where you saw last night. Um... What else? Oh, if you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. My brain, like, my brain when I just wake up. Mm -mm. And y'all, um, I'm trying to figure out what I'm trying to tell you. And Paxson is just being really, just like, what is this? What is this? I'm about to, I'm about to just, like, put his ass out of my room. Oh my god, I have an appointment at... 11 o'clock to go and view a um an apartment and i need to like get up now go like you know and do my hygiene stuff go take a shower <laughs> and get ready i would say and like deal with paxton i have to take him out and just like do everything that i need to do because i take forever oh my god paxton and the place is a good 40 i think five minutes from here <sighs> So, I have to do all that. I think later on, I'll explain to you guys kind of like an update of what's going on with me. Um, but we're going to look at an apartment. It's kind of crazy because in my last vlog, it was all over the place. I mentioned that like, I was looking at places. I actually had started looking at places. And then now it's just like, I definitely have to figure a place. Um to move to we're gonna be moving in a while i'm gonna give you all some insight once i'm up and i look like a better person because what is going on right now a 10 i think i i i did good because the bed is me we're up on the bed i think i did good and guess what i just realized 
I don't have to clean um, this weekend because I did the reset on, was it Wednesday? Or was it Thursday? Oh, Wednesday and I cleaned clean. Like that was like a, like a spring clean, like a deep clean. And I, I recorded that. So y'all gonna see that before this. So now all I have to do is just like, you know, a little straightening here and there and my OCD stuff, you know, I'm gonna like swift or something, but I don't have to deep clean. Anyways, let me open the blends in the living room and y'all are on the really long tripod and not my thingy, but let me open the blends. Can you believe it's 9.30 already? That's what I'm talking about. Like, what did I do for it to be 9.30? Uh, I took a shower. I got dressed. Well, I just have some jeans on and a bodysuit, which is white. So, hence, I'm putting this over myself because every time I do makeup, my clothes is a mess. Um, I'm just going to do, like, a very quick face very like natural i just want to look a little bit together you know people really are people so how you present yourself yeah people will be really trying to gauge you or how they're supposed to like you know like deal which is kind of stupid but it's just how we are as people um so i just wanted to at least look presentable even though i'm just going to view um some units my friend oh my god my knee my friend um is meeting me over there so that's good. Noel was supposed to come. I don't know what's up with him because his dog is having some issues. So he's taking her to the vet. Um, but um, my friend Princess is supposed to be meeting me over there just to, you know, so I have company. Anyways, um, I'm using the Lancome Tint Adol. They sent me this the other day and I did a video for them on TikTok. So that was cool. So I have their foundation and I have their, is this the one that's my color? Cause they sent me two colors, baby. Hmm. So I have their foundation. I have the concealers and stuff like that. I did a little cute little TikTok. It was a, you know, a little paid collaboration. So that was very nice. But with this foundation, you can use your fingers and put it on. Even though you're supposed to be using your ring fingers to blend it out. And because I'm not really doing a lot, I'm literally gonna apply it with my fingers and then like use my brush to get the edges out and it literally is like skin i hold you i'm not gonna hold you it just gives it like a smoother like finish i don't want to be late y'all know me i'm always rushing against time like what is wrong with me and i'll be waking up so early well i think i wake up early but i guess clearly not early enough All those miracles that I did just a couple of chapters before, I still do them. And I came to tell you today, all the stories you read about in this book, hey, he still does them. My God can still heal the sick. Come on, if you believe it. Amen. My God can still Amen. do it. My God can Amen. still bring it to My God can still resurrect dead dreams and dead hopes and dead relationships. Okay, so you agree, God didn't change. But here's what does change, ready? You and I. Amen. Some days we feel it some days we not. <laughs> some days we up, some days we down. And what determines God's closeness, hear me, is not God's feelings when he wakes up in the morning. <laughs> He's the same. It's our feelings, it's our heart, it's our attitude, and our choices. And so if you came to church today in need of a miracle, I think our nonverbal communication is even more honest than our verbal communication. So sometimes we'll be like, God, I hate you. God, you're so mad. But you still come to church. Oh my God. <laughs> and I think God is like, yeah, wow. yeah. You, you spoke out of emotion, but your nonverbal is communicating something else in your words. I know you say you doubt me, but you're still here. I know you say you, you don't know if I'm going to come through, but you still open up your Bible. I see, I oh see, my I God. can read. That's crazy. My language. If you just let yourself. It's so natural to be depressed. It's so natural to be hopeless. But wow. sometimes you gotta remind yourself, fix wow. your posture. I hear my grandma wow. in the back of my head, stand up straight. Wow. Fix your posture. 
I can hear her. I think that's what David did in Psalms 42, 5, 42, 11, and 43, 5. Look what he did. Tell me if you don't see him fixing his posture. Why are you down? Oh my God. So, why are the undies within me? Put your hope in God for I will yet praise him. My wow. Savior and my God. I came to tell somebody Thank today. Thank you, God. I know it's dark. Thank you, God. I know you feel alone. And I know you're wow. scared. And I know you ain't got the words. But you better stand up straight. Put your yes, shoulders God. down. Put your eyes up to the hill. Where your help comes from, my help comes from. Oh my the gosh. Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Get your pastor right. Amen. Come on, now get your expectation right. When Amen. was the last time you stood next forever? Amen. Man, never. So you might be going through a funk right now. It might be tough to pray right now. But mm. I promise you this won't last forever. I promise you two days from now, two weeks from now. Amen. You're going to fill that room. You're going to fill a room. You're going to fill a line. The pressure will be lifted, the joy will fill if you stay. Amen. Just wait. Hey guys, um, I forgot that I didn't check in yesterday, and I'm here seasoning up some shrimp. And just like, let me check in real quick. Ugh, you yeah, girl. It's just like super emotional and just like going through it. Um, so today's Sunday. I did not go to church. I was. In since I started going to church in person, this is my first Sunday that church is actually in session and I'm not physically in the building. We watched online and you would have seen in the clips before, like I feel so, it's just like so exhausted, like blah. I don't know how to explain it. And it's so crazy that the sermon that our pastor was preaching exactly that. Like, I feel like I'm in such a blah space. And I don't know how to explain it. Yesterday we did go look on the apartment. That was something else because I actually, okay, so quick little story time because I'm about to like go shower, go to the gas station and go meet Noelle. I need a moment. Um, but I was gonna move from this apartment. Like when my lease ends in the end of summer, like close to the ending of summer my lease was supposed to end and i had decided i would not stay i wouldn't renew because the location i love my apartment it's not the it's not the actual unit i love my unit it's beautiful but living downtown is not it for me like and i really was not happy within like a month of just what living downtown is you have to deal with when you go outside like a lot of um homeless people it's always dirty it's always just like smelly outside i don't know how to explain it there's really no place for me to walk packs and like when i go to walk packs and i'm not, i don't i'm not happy I'm, i haven't been enjoying walking him outside i used to walk him by the lake and then i haven't even felt like doing that he hasn't been to the lake in maybe like two weeks like i have just not just been just no and there's just quite a few things that i was not happy with and i'm just like this is not the place like i don't see myself renewing and living another year because it's so much with the living downtown there's always a parade going on it's always like they have show there's always something going on outside the road is probably always blocked off on the weekends when you're trying to get home you have to figure out how to get to your apartment and just like a lot of other factors like okay um i live downtown but i don't think i utilize the whole like perks of living downtown i feel like people live down down here especially in orlando just so they can go to like the bars and the different little things i don't do stuff like that so it doesn't matter to me and i just want peace um somewhere that's like you know a little bit more homey in a sense and I, my main goal is to have my son with me and mm -mm, I could not, he could not go, go down here. So I need to uh, like find somewhere else that's like more family oriented in terms of the neighborhood, more kid friendly, you know, more open space where I can want my dog and stuff like that. Like I honestly was going to move out of state and I feel like it's rushed. I will not have enough time. I don't have enough time. Um, so I, I decided I was going to, I'm all over the place, but bear with me. I decided, okay, um, I'm not going to renew, but I will just stay in Central Florida, even though I did not want to do that. I'm like, I'm going to stay in Central Florida. Okay, bet. Um, but I started looking at apartments. Like, just for, the way how I am, I have to be a little bit like, organized in a sense i have to plan ahead so i started looking at apartments and i'm like okay found like some new construction ones and then i think i went to like three different apartments 
found one that I felt was like in an okay enough neighborhood, like a like a family oriented kind of like sub suburb kind of vibe, where you could still have access to you know come to like downtown. Even I really don't do anything downtown, so that it's not a big factor for me. But I found something, and I thought it was like you know it seems like something that I would go go with. Um, it's not. It's not panning out. It's not pencing out. And I'm having a really hard time deciding where I want to live. So I found another place yesterday, which uh, we went to. I told you guys I was going on a tour. It's not like in downtown. It's a little bit off the way. But it's easy to access in a sense. Once you get on the highway, you don't have to pay tolls or whatever. It's like its own community. And yesterday when I had to drive back home, like drive to downtown, it was like a 18 17 minute drive it was real quick i was on the phone and i was home in like like less like real quick so i'm like okay it's not too cut off it's good for family um nice like you know area for like for, for like a family kind of vibe and it's not busy um it's like more of like a community it's not a high rise it's like a garden style so okay i have fresh air i have trees i have places to walk packs and comfortably and not think somebody's gonna like hit us off the sidewalk just like stuff like that let me tell you how i found a unit that i liked so i'm like okay because since this apartment was open i think from last year uh most of the units that give you you know that vibe that view of like the lake and all the nice you know you know i like a, a little view a little something all of those were like one they only had like studios in that side of the property so the other side they only had one like apartment that gave you like a little view of something and I actually liked it a lot. Um, but when I went back online, when I came home, went online, it wasn't available. Even though the leasing person at first, she was just like, oh, I, it's not available. I wanted to show you this apartment. It's not available. Then she's like, it's available. Then she came back and said, oh, it is available. I toured it. It's not available. But so I'm just like very annoyed I'm so anxious I'm just like a lot of things y'all like a lot of things I'm all over the place we're trying like I was trying to get them Noel tried calling them too no one picks up the phone so me and him decided okay we're just gonna drive over there to see if we can look at another unit because for me to apply for somewhere online it's not gonna work unless I see it I put y'all down a charge why well, I never picked the camera back up it was when I was on my way to where I was going. I realized I didn't pick my camera up, bro. Oh, okay, quick rundown. We went to the apartment. To tell me why they closed. They was not picking up the many calls. I don't know what's next. I don't know. I have to wait till tomorrow to contact them again because clearly they're not open. And we was trying to contact like nobody. It is hot as a mug. It's 91 degrees in Florida. I'm so confused. It, when I tell you it's hot, it is hot. I was outside like burning up and I'm kind of glad I wore this. Even though I was like burning up, my, my body wasn't exposed and I had my tights on. It is so hot. It makes no sense. So for right now, I have a vlog that I made, which I wasn't really feeling. Mama posted it anyways. I'm going make a thumbnail post it. This is what it is. Really, really starving. This morning I didn't have an appetite. So I had like half of my bagel an egg sandwich, made my protein, had it while I was going there, so I'm extremely hungry. I'm not, I haven't eat, I, like how I usually eat this whole week and I did not work out this whole week, so I feel like my gains are gone. Maybe it's just in my mind, but yeah, that's what we're gonna do.
Let me show y'all the ceiling. This is the kitchen, right? So that's like, do you see that? The split, how it goes. So that part is coming out. You probably can't even see it that well. Um, oh, that might have my head. You see right there as well. It's all just like coming off, which is crazy. Over here, y'all can't really see see it see it but it is all coming along let me show y'all my office because i feel like i never highlighted it just because clearly i'm not gonna try and like show what's wrong with it but from here i don't know if y'all can see like the different discoloration in paint but i might put a video on the screen so y'all can see what's really going on look at that as soon as you walk in and the shit is cracked all the way down like all the way down and it has like two different colors in paint because they painted it so many times they patched it up and it still didn't and then under here <laughs> it's cracking all the way over i don't know if y'all are really seeing this but it's cracking all the way over and this is over my bed it's hard to show on camera but it's all cracking and it's like every time i look at it it gets more apparent so it's clearly i don't know what's going on and it goes from the top and it runs all the way to over there because it's white are y'all even seeing that like it's literally over my bed as much as i knew you know we weren't renewing um this thing done sped it up like y'all the one in the kitchen looks so bad like it's pissing me off like once you look up i'm just like oh my god it's all just like falling out. I know it doesn't, y'all probably can't really see the extent of it, but yeah. Anyways, I just got finished cooking. Make a plate. Y'all know it's Sunday, usually I cook a lot. I literally just made shrimp and rice, like regular rice. And I'm gonna have avocado. I just didn't even feel like making vegetables or anything. So I'm just gonna have a, make a plate. I'm gonna sit and a movie or something to watch so i eat and i'm here watching a little netflix i just posted my vlog but you know what let me pause this let me go wash the wigs now because the girls did order and i didn't wash them because um i guess i was just waiting to see if people were gonna order to be honest and i was just being very lazy and not motivated okay just gonna wash the dishes that I just had my dinner with. And I'm gonna wash the wigs. I wish I had washed them earlier because it's so hot outside, it would be perfect to dry them. Oh my God, especially with the 90 degree heat, but that's okay. I'm gonna wash them. Hopefully they can be dried by tomorrow so I can ship them out for the girl. But guys, yesterday I went to the apartment. Um, the one, as I said, that I had looked on on Saturday that I was gonna apply for is gone. So that was a dub. But I kind of came to a concession. So I think I found one that I'm going to apply for. I mean, the one that I wanted was the one that I wanted. But based on how everything is looking everywhere else, I'm just going to stick with this um, property. They did have a townhome. The only thing is, y'all, the living room is so dark. You know how I love me some light? They did have a townhome, which I could apply for. It has its own garage that that aspired only thing is it's um i said three story the one that i wanted uh, uh, has so many windows in there so many windows and i could get that same floor plan on a lower floor but the ceilings would not be high that was the whole point the high ceilings made it like very grand so there's that guys that's like my update um, so I think I'm gonna go with applying for another layout 
which is not the one I wanted, but that's the next best thing. It was either that or, sorry, or the town home at this point. But that's where I'm at. That's where I'm at, y'all. Your girl is here. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna have to do my application though, that much I know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. And I'm like, can the unit that I applied for, can the people like change their mind? But I don't think they're gonna change their mind because that unit gets so much beautiful lighting. It has an L balcony and you can see the lake. So I would not change my mind off that. And the ceilings are high. Um, but yeah. Oh my god, it's so dark. <laughs> Guys, we are in the car. It's real dark in this garage right now. We're in the car. As you can see, I went to my safety. <laughs> my gym wig, I literally was not feeling hot, so I just put my gym headband wig on. Um, I am going to go to Trader Joe's to grab some things. I still need to go to the gym, but I have a few wigs to ship out for the girls. I have it right here, so I'm going to go to the post right now before going to Trader Joe's because I don't want to can you I'm trying to see listen I need to get something in here to hold my phone oh my god y'all are in the cup holder wow <laughs> hold on hold on ah, okay that ain't too bad I'm trying to get buckled up but um we're just gonna go to the post I ran out of the shipping envelope things what's that the the What's that? The express thing? So I have to go there, go in there, get the thing, label it, package it up in there. So I think I might just park, run in, get the the, um, the supplies that I need, come in the car and do it in the car. Way more comfy. And then we're just going to ship those off, go to Trader Joe's. It's 1027. I honestly wanted to just like go boom, boom, in and out. But like might as well I just do this first, get the stuff at Trader Joe's, come back, um, I need to grab a bite to eat because I haven't had breakfast yet and then go to the gym because then at least I know I already did what I needed to do on the road and I have stuff to prepare for dinner and I need to do a wig. I have a wig video that I need to get done so after the gym I'm gonna come back and do that. y'all i packed the orders um i just have one more which i'm gonna i don't think i'm gonna send it the regular way because honestly <laughs> that unit i literally sold it for 50 dollars. so to be honest if i don't know like if i should pay 10 dollars to ship it because it's like does that even make sense i don't know but um we have four orders uh We'll put them all back in this. Ooh. Then we're gonna go into the post. Well, I'm gonna go in the, into the post and I'm gonna be right back. Went to Trader Joe's, it was really packed, so I, I was not vlogging, couldn't be bothered. Went through the drive through now we're like headed home. Okay. Guys, I'm repeating. It is what it is. Let me see My Chick fil A. And here we're watching videos of the units that I looked on yesterday. It's crazy, so I did send my application in um for or second choice and then i have another choice that i put so my first choice you don't get the views that i was going to get in the unit that i wanted that's okay but you get really high ceilings um and it would be a bigger space than what i currently have i don't know um it's very nice natural light but the one that i wanted you know what? let's talk, stop talking about the one that i wanted the one that i wanted had where there's a wall in the one that I applied for, that wall that has no windows had windows. So you had like three sets of extra windows in the living space. So it was so bright. It was so dreamy. Anyways, that's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Um, so, got some more honey. I think just got stuff that I need for dinner. I got tomatoes, avocados, garlic, eggs, because I'm running out. Well, not, maybe I have like seven eggs left. But I bought another one, some broccoli, asparagus, 
make some, have some green, some vegetables with my salmon. And we're cooking this salmon today. I did get some chicken thighs. Not cooking this right now, so I'm putting it in the freezer. And I am being lazy. I'm not about to go season anything like how I usually would season anything. Y'all, I'm just all over the place because it's the, it's the fact that I, I'm going to have to move. That's it. That's all. Okay, so y'all clean. I don't know what's going on. 12.26. I still need to go to the gym and I still need to work out. But I'll eat this Chick-fil-A and have it digest and then wash some dishes in the meantime. My refrigerator is super empty, but I don't even know if I want to... I don't know what I want to do right now with my life, if I'm being honest. Because I have milk and I have creamer. <laughs> I have eggs. Maybe. I know I said I was going to do my hair, do the makeup, finish the video. I did the hair, installed it, boom. I just haven't styled it, like I clipped it how I wanted, I made my part, but it's 7.26, the sun is just about to go. I don't see the sense of like finishing the hair, cause by the time I curl this thing, do the makeup, it's dark. Um, so what I will do though is do it in the morning before I do the gym or do anything else. This is the room, oh, Jesus. So I'm gonna start cleaning this up, there's so much hair. Um, I'm so thirsty, oh my god. And I need to go and cook. I already took the salmon out because it was in the refrigerator. And y'all, I got a word for y'all. I got a word for y'all. Remember how I told you about the apartment? And you know what? Let me tidy this place up and I'm coming back with a, a praise report. I think I'm coming back with a, like a, like, listen, God just keeps like, like, he just keeps, like, like blowing my mind. Hey, babes. <laughs> it's Thursday. I was supposed to come back on here Tuesday after, you know, I finished doing the intro for the other video and doing my makeup. Girl, that did not happen. A lot has been going on. And I wanted to come back on here and give y'all that praise report that I was trying to give y'all. Okay. So, remember the apartment we applied. We wanted... Okay. So... Let me run through this again so you understand. So I was looking for, well, my lease at this apartment was about to end. Well, not about to end. It was going to be um, over with in four months time. And me being me, I started to think I want to move. I want to move. I want to move. And I felt like I was going to move outside of Florida. Um, like I really wanted to, but based on how quick the time is like approaching, I don't think I could successfully move out of state in four months. Like I don't, it just doesn't make any sense. And it's like too much of a hassle as well as I have to visit the places that I want to move to in order to fully get a feel, a scope of what I'm getting myself into. I don't want to make another moving mistake in terms of like, um, moving somewhere to settle long term and then it's not you know where i'm supposed to be and anyways i've been trying to think oh i want to move i'm moving out of florida but god has literally been like talking through people and just like different things um i don't really want to get into it but he's really been just like showing that um yeah you want to do that but i think you're supposed to be here where you are in terms of like I was not fun to stay in Central Florida like I'm just like nope I'm moving I'm doing this I'm doing that but I feel like I was just like yeah you're doing all that but that's not what I'm telling you to do so I kind of made terms with it like okay we're gonna stay in Central Florida for now um because clearly he <laughs> has a greater plan for me than the plans that I have conceived for myself um and you know what's funny guys I'm kind of all over the place, but hopefully this makes some kind of sense. I had always thought that it was a specific place that I needed to be that would bring me happiness, that would get me to, you know, do content and also get me the connections that I needed to be great. And what I've realized is that wherever God says for me to go, I will flourish there. Like if I choose to go on my own without like the blessing of God or like his direction, and do what Kimberly thinks is the best decision. I will encounter like so many problems. Like I could have probably <laughs> reached to you know the where God had intended for me like long ago if I wasn't so stubborn and if I didn't always have to have it my way or do what I think is best for me. So lately, like moving forward, I've more been in tune to like okay, God, what do you think? 
do I do this? Do I do that? And I like wait and I listen and I try to see like, you know what signs I'm getting? Um, because God does speak, but sometimes we're so busy. We don't, we don't hear or we don't see what he's trying to say. But yeah, um, based on how everything was going, I thought I was supposed to be staying here. Um, my mother started actually, girl, I'm hungry. I worked out, went on the road, um, came back, had like a planted smoothie protein and I'm cooking. So we're going to eat soon. So don't worry about that. But like, yeah, it's just where I've been. Um, and I really had thought, oh, I need to move out of here. I need to do this. I need to do that. And all these things. But God literally has been sending like different signs. Like, nah, nah, you need to get planted where you are. Um, moving is not like moving out of this like state right now. It's not what I want for for you to do and I've received that and I'm like all right but we're gonna stay so anyways I went about my hunting all over the place wasn't finding anything that matched like you know the vibe of here or the vibe of like you know the little things that I like in terms of like the look and feel of the apartment like this is great but the Everything else that comes with living downtown is not it for me. So I was trying to find somewhere. I, f I thought I found a place, applied, didn't hear from them. I had to keep calling like, what is going on? And then it was just like too much like a f push pull. And anytime I do something and I feel too much of like a push pull, I, you know, quickly realize now I'm more like, um, more conscious that, god is not here so i had thought okay this is a place and like okay applied and everything and there was just like a whole mess a hot goddamn mess and i feel like it was not the place at first i thought it was but anyways i applied for this other place i told y'all that i went um found an apartment thought i wanted that unit went home the apartment was gone okay cool so we're gonna go to our second choice um so sunday me and noel was trying to go over there because we weren't getting anybody on the phone we went all the way over there they were closed apparently someone called out the person that was supposed to work so monday here we are again um and while we were there on sunday y'all there was this guy um and noel was like i was trying to talk to him like you know do you work here like what is going on are they open and he didn't speak english so noel was translating because noel speaks spanish <laughs> so he was talking to him and the guy is like oh he leased um the apartment he showed us like on the first floor and he was pointing like but i want the apartment like up there because those have the high ceilings and he was literally pointing directly at the apartment that i was trying to apply for that was gone and me and noel was laughing and, I, and he's like yeah that was the apartment she was trying to get but um someone you know applied all right cool um so we were just like joking around looking on like the map that the lady had given us just to see any other p potential ones that we're gonna take um monday i went back toward several toward a town home which was amazing nice space but it was faced the direction where the sun wasn't coming in the living room was dark okay I said to her, like, my light bill is about to be big, like, real big every month because you're going to always need to have lights on. I didn't like that. I like that it ha had its own garage and all of that, but it just wasn't it. And then she took me to, like, an apartment with the same layout, like, what I had wanted. But it just didn't feel the same. It was not the same. And I'm like, I don't like it. And then she took me to, like, a three-bedroom, which I had. Okay, cool. This one, I feel like I might go with it because... Um, wait guys, I'm cooking. Shoot. Ooh, I said like, I might go with it. It's not exactly what I wanted, but it's like the next best thing. Oh my goodness. Hold on. I'm like, it's like the next best thing. So we're going to work with it. Um, and then y'all, she showed me like a two bedroom that was, to me, if you know my apartment from Fort Lauderdale, it was, it was shaped just like that. And the, I didn't love it, but the thing that was going for this was it was right on the water like literally you had lake views from the living room and both bedrooms and i'm like oh my god this is so peaceful this is my vibe you know me i love zen and i'm like wow but the only thing is it didn't have like a few things that the other one had like it had no custom closets based on the floor that it was on and just like a few things the ceilings weren't as high as the other apartment i'm just like ugh, ugh. um so she told me to apply I honestly did not apply the day when she told me to apply again and I'm like damn I guess it's all gonna go because they did tell me to apply and I didn't do it at the same time but then it's funny because that same Tuesday 
um, like at first I kept refreshed like from the Saturday when I saw the apartment was gone I kept going on their page the Sunday like every couple hours refreshing to see if the apartment became available again like I was obsessing over it and then I'm like you know what whatever and then I realized like on Monday once I went and I found what my other options were and wow this chicken looks so good let me show y'all and once I was like can y'all see that Ooh. It is a little dark, but wow, we got some nice brown stew chicken. Hey guys, once I realized I had, um, I was obsessing. This is so good. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to eat. But let me finish this story real quick. Um, yeah. So once I realized that I was obsessing over it, I'm like, nah, you gotta, you gotta chill. And then I'm just like, you know what? It's not, it's not there. If God wants you to be in that apartment, it'll work out. Just, it'll work out like it'll fall like you know it'll happen and I'm just like it doesn't seem that way so let's just move on and then I went to my next choice which was the three bed um and I applied and I'm like I bet cool let's do the application because you know at some point maybe the next unit that I want would be gone too so I did my application boom 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 um and I was good like I literally started planning let's see if I can put you all down where okay Okay, let me hold this. So I was literally planning like, all right, bet this is what we're gonna get. We're gonna make it work. Da, da, da. Um, then, it's funny, <laughs> it's so funny because I really started planning for the for the other space and like, I'm like, okay, we're gonna do this, do that. You already know me, like my brain started to work. Um, then I was just like sitting, chilling. And before that, before that, cause this is the good part. Um, in the morning that same tuesday before i did the application i'm like god i really like that apartment um that's the one i want i want you to let this fall through let them not take it because i really want that apartment i prefer that apartment and i'm like i bet and i just let it go and i'm like do what only you can do anytime i get to that point where i'm just like do what only you can do do what you think you know is best your way it's cool and then um i had drove to where did i go did i go to target i went somewhere y'all i'm trying to remember I, i'd be going somewhere but i drove out and i'm just like mm. and while i was like driving out of the parking garage i'm like god i give this to you like have your way i can't figure this out and it's a little like you know all over the place so just have your way whatever your will if you want me in that one i'm gonna get it and as I said before I even left my house, I said to him, like, this the, part, the apartment that I like, let it fall through. Let them not take it because I want it. He did say, uh, <laughs> let you, <laughs> everything that you need, let, let him know what you want. Ask for what you want. And it really is a thing where as soon as you ask for something, it's already yours. Like, literally, it's already yours if you believe it in your heart. And I realized once I stopped obsessing over it and just telling him, like, this is what I want, Father. Like, I don't know. I would prefer this one. Like, I know. But whatever you will, if you think the other one is best, then okay. But this is what I want. So I was here, minding my business, did my application for, you know, the other unit here thinking, okay, what I'm going to put in there, what we're going to do. I get a call. Why? Why? Did the lady from the apartment call me? And she was just like, hey, give me a Hi um and i'm here running jokes with her i'm like listen y'all need to fix y'all number because every time it comes up it says cam likely and she was like oh my god oh my god she's gonna tell the manager but she's like i wanted to call you because i'm going on which is she was going on her off day so she wanted to you know make contact with me and she just got a call from the other leasing consultant to tell her hey the apartment is available that you were asking about they didn't um bother going forward with it and she had to call me to tell me baby <laughs> like excuse me like I, i'm like what you say again what you say girl um she's like yeah so she wanted to tell me so if i want to switch uh my floor plans and i'm like oh my god like what like what i'm just like okay okay father like i see you won't he do it bro once you give it to him baby and just let him let him know like okay this is what i want 
He said ask. He really did say ask, okay? It can be given. It will be given. Not can. It will be given. And especially if you were in a posture like, okay, this is what I want. But you know what, God? I want what you want for me. If that's not the one, then it's okay. But this is my preference. He didn't say it's not okay to tell him, you know, like, I like this or I would want this. You have to let him know what you want. And if it aligns with what God has planned for you, then of course, he's going to make it yours. And I know it's just like, okay, it's just like, okay, it's just an apartment, but y'all don't, y'all don't see like just the way how God works and just like how he aligns everything. And what I learned from this experience again is just like, why do you always get so flustered? Like, why? And every single time, once you just like relax and just say, take it, take over, because this is too much, it all falls into place, like literally, literally. So we got the apartment, um, the one that I wanted, and I did my application, and your girl was approved. <laughs> Oh my god. So I'm just like super happy and excited. Um, I'm gonna have my food and then me and Noel. Well, he gets off at 5 30, but he said he's gonna leave at 5. I'm gonna go pick Noel up at 5 o'clock. Um, and we're gonna go to the apartment just so I can see it again and I can do some measurements. And y'all, my lease was supposed to end in July, but because of the roof situation they're gonna allow me to leave whenever i want to leave um so i'm just trying to work that out i was thinking maybe in 60 days but baby i don't really know i don't really know how i feel about that but maybe sooner so i'm just gonna see um i do need help and my brother has said he would you know as per usual be the big brother my superhero he would come out to help me but I have to see if my dates that I'm thinking align with his dates so he can make the plans and be out here and then my sister would come too at first I'm like I don't know how I'm gonna do this this is like a lot I didn't plan for this because I knew it was gonna be up in July and I was gonna leave in July but pff, here we are and what's crazy is as soon as I started looking as soon as I started looking they came to visit my apartment to check um, the roof and stuff and the contractor told them that hey we got to take the ceiling the entire kitchen ceiling thingy out in order to get this fixed and also the one in the spare bedroom and also the one for my bed so hmm I'm like okay cool and then they literally offered then and there to have me break my lease without paying anything and it's up to me when I want to do it so look at God look at God it's just that it's all like very sudden and I didn't plan this but you know what I believe that God is gonna work it out he's gonna send me who I need at the time and he's gonna make it work he's gonna make it work um but I'm super excited about this apartment I'm going to be saving money because it's not downtown and it's a beautiful apartment and it's way less than what i pay now y'all like it's way less than what i pay now and the apartment that i was trying to get into it would still at first that one that i was having issues with them it would have still run me up to like um what i pay now and i really and truly did not want to be paying what i pay now again because i feel like it's not worth it to be honest um i don't think what i pay now is worth it like i like the insides of my apartment but everything else that comes with it it's not worth the price like i feel like my rent is extremely high and it's just not worth it this new place my rent will be <laughs> a lot less it's not a step down you still feel the luxe vibes it has way more windows it's so bright in there i am so excited to show y'all and yeah even though my building here's the kicker it doesn't have an elevator because it's a garden style community which I don't mind because you know um I like the layout and the the openness versus living in a mid to high rise where everything is built from the ground up and you just come in and it's just like one set of entrances in and out 
I can't do it. I can't do it anymore. I feel so claustrophobic. This, I will have a lot of space, a lot of fresh air. I can walk Paxson outside without thinking someone is gonna like hit him down or something and it's gonna be clean, way cleaner. So much like trees and just like fresh air and I feel like this is exactly what I need and I'm just super excited y'all. I'm super excited. I thought living downtown was gonna be what I wanted. Um, I don't know. Matter of fact, you have to come and experience it to, to even make a decision, to be honest. And then after moving here, I'm just like, eh. within like a few weeks of being here, I'm like, you know what? No, I definitely will not be renewing. Like I knew. I knew within like a month that I was not going to renew this place, like at all. But I mean, you live and you learn, you win some, you lose some. Uh, matter of fact, you never lose, you learn. But I'm just super excited and I'm super happy. And then at least with the move, my family come in. My family come in, y'all. Like, oh my God, I just need to talk to my brother to see. Oh my God, I just rubbed pepper in my, holy smokes, let me go wash my eye out. I had pepper on my hand and I just rubbed my eye. Okay, it's recording. Hey guys, so I'm here to pick Noel up. It's like 5.13. I didn't tell them I'm gonna get there like at 5.30. But I just sent a message though saying I think it's gonna be 5.45. It's mad traffic, but we're gonna jump on the highway. What the hell, y'all? I have a zit down. I don't, I don't know. What the heck? Anyways, I took me a nice little shower, did some skincare, and we out here natural and bare this morning. <laughs> Why this morning? This morning, <laughs> my friend saw me on FaceTime and she's like, okay, Lara Croft with the ponytail. I'm screaming. But I'm waiting on Noel's ass. His car is parked right here. Um, I don't see him. He said he was gonna go upstairs, change his shirt, and come back. Oh, he coming. Because I was just talking shit. <laughs> Look at him. Look at his. And that's his food. Look at his. Look at his. Look at him. <laughs> Baby. Oh, the child. I keep forgetting about the child's vlog. <laughs> Hi, friend. Oh, you found the tape. My what is going on right now? Because I'm trying to drive, and this is what I'm dealing with. She come. Friend, look at this. That's this is stop so bad. Turn right onto Conway Gardens. Go to a coma after this. A coma object, guys. We're trying to get there. <laughs> and in the pacifier. Oh, you guys, look. Gone. A food was fire. <laughs> Gone with the wind. <laughs> oh my god. It was good. Oh my god. Whoa, I'm so scared. Stay in the middle lane. Aim to take exit 12 to merge toward Ocala. <laughs> Our new home, we love it. I can't wait for us to move. It's beautiful, y'all. What you guys see it? Y'all haven't seen it, right? No, okay. I'm not gonna show them until I move. Uh -uh. Yo, we made it. Um, we made it. Why am I saying we made it? Like we went somewhere, but we're in city furniture looking at stuff. Look at this. <laughs> looking at the bed. But we're looking at stuff. I'm um, trying to see you know, if we see anything. He's looking for bed, bed here, furniture. Oh, now the camera looks better. So we are in city furniture. It's a natural look for me. Why does it look like it could be my ponytail? <laughs> we'll be looking at stuff. Hopefully, I don't even know what we're looking for, but we're just like trying to see. Oh no, I look. See how the mirror is? One, two, three. Oh, baby. Wow, instantly. I think there's a hack. Maybe this will go perfect. Oh my yes. god. Yes. Look I'm at this table. Coffee table. Yeah. I don't think it's so foggy. Guys, no one wants this bed. <laughs> arrived all right this is the same mirror we saw downstairs i'm thinking of getting this mirror i really like it this one yeah and i wanted to get this <laughs> okay no likey we know likey mm -mm. you know what you like to say I, we like the other one better <laughs> what about this little table yeah why is it five ninety nine? No, 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 baby. Okay, we can walk away. <laughs> yeah, because it's just a plain wooden desk. Are you crazy? No, yeah, more. They don't have no. So I was trying to see if I see a sofa. They ain't got no sofas. No, used to have. It's soggy. It's the cloud. It's three thousand something dollars. Yeah. 
<laughs> move. You bought it for $3,000? Uh, 2200 And what you did with it? Sold it. After six months. After how much? After six months. Okay, guys. Someone that is worse than me, I'd be buying furniture and getting rid of it, but no, I'll be the me. I had it for six okay? months and I sold it. For six like months. Like 1500 Shit. Mm -hmm. I remember lucky with the one that I had in Fort Lauderdale. I had it for like nine months, was it? And then got rid of it. They don't have nothing. They don't have nothing. Oh, so there's no sofa in here. Shoot. Upstairs. Oh, What's that? Upstairs looks real dry. We're not gonna lie. They're real dry in here. The only thing that we found that was nice was the new coffee table. Oh, these are nice, the dough bowls. That looks like a two Right? What? That? These are nice. They're so thin. They're light. I thought it was gonna be thicker. That looks like a crate and barrel. This looks like my chairs that I had for my counter stool chairs in Fort Lauderdale. Mm -hmm. Good morning guys, happy Saturday. I'm literally about to head through the door, but I just wanted to check in and close this vlog out. It is Saturday. Um, Y'all saw me, I think on Thursday, me and Noel was at the furniture store. I did go back yesterday, but I didn't go back with the plans of like doing anything crazy or like buying stuff. I kind of had it in my mind that I was gonna do something, but then I didn't bring my camera because I didn't know what I was gonna do. I did make some purchases yesterday like quite a few purchases not one more than one but they're not gonna they're not gonna you're not gonna see them until we move out and move into the new apartment so you know you got to stick around i did buy a new sofa we're not gonna talk about it <laughs> but i did buy a new sofa um i'm like you know what we got a few things. I'm not gonna tell you the rest of the stuff, but one of the major things is I did buy a new sofa. Oh guys, oh my God, I bought me a new mattress, but y'all will see that in next week's vlog because it's gonna get delivered. I'm not waiting to move out to get it because I've been having such bad back pains. Um, I'm not sleeping well. Like I've been having really bad pains when I sleep. My neck has been messing up my lower back and I've been just like, so hot like when i wake up i look like i was fighting like my clothes is so crinkled because i sweat a lot in my sleep and i turn a lot so i had to fix that i had to fix that like i, I mm -mm. so we did buy a new mattress and i bought a pillow which i'll share with you in the next vlog um oh my god okay i gotta go but uh because that was a message from the group but i gotta go but i did buy a pillow which i'll talk about in the next vlog i've never bought a pillow for that price in my life but we're gonna talk about it in the next vlog because your health is really important and your sleep is important so i bought everything not no sponsorship so y'all y'all gonna hear that in the next vlog but i'm gonna end this vlog out it was a great week y'all heard the news we moving um even though i didn't plan to move but we're gonna move uh next like 35 days we out and i'm going to ch um serve serve saturdays look at the back of my shirt wait the serve saturdays we're gonna go and serve the homeless and just be the hands and feet of jesus to the people um outside the homeless community so i'm super excited i'm always extra happy when it's serve saturday it's the first saturday of every month and if you're in Orlando, you should definitely check out Journey Church. I love my church. Um, but we're going to go. I need to get my sunglasses. And I know when I come back later, I'll be like 10 shades darker. Because that's always what happens. I have some sunscreen on, but I feel like it, it wears off so quickly. But we're going to go. Um, I need to get my water. And yeah, that is it. I love you guys. I will catch y'all in my next vlog. We're going to wrap this weekly vlog up. And I'll catch you on the next one. And we have quite a few vlogs to go. Let me grab my water bottle real quick. We have quite a few vlogs to go. And let me tell y'all, if you see a lot of hair videos after this, please watch them. 
we need money. We are moving. We're doing so many things that I did not even foresee right now. So watch the vlogs. I love you guys. And I'll catch you my next one. Bye. <laughs>